Okay, so here's a little walkthrough of how to associate prices to products in Salesforce. Um, it's really simple, but when I was first coming across it, it, was when it wasn't as intuitive as I thought, um, but it's actually really easy. So let's create a new product, product, new product number two. You'll make sure it's active. You can put in the code. Uh, and let's save. Okay, so now it brings up the product for us. You can see that there's no field <coughs> for price. Um, and that's because you associate products with price entries on price books. And the reason for that is that you might be selling to different types of customers or you might have a different pricing um, schemas that you want to associate to a single product. So you'll need multiple prices. So what happens is you click on this related tab, you can see price book, you can add a standard price first. So your standard price book will populate in here <clears throat> and you can put in your price and save and voila, you now have a standard price for this new product number two. This button over here has now changed to add to price book. That's because now I can add to additional price books beyond what was my standard. Uh, let's do it a different way though. So I have opened up this secondary price book rather than, so I'm in the price books uh, launcher instead of uh, products. So again, details, there's not much that you can see. So we come to related, there's a price book entries. I would want to add product. There's my new product right there. So, and it shows what I had for the standard price. Great, that's the one I wanna to add to this book. I can change now the pricing for this. And let's say for this secondary book, the price is only $50. I save that and it is now added to this price book as $50. So. Um, if I come back to this product and refresh this page <clears throat> and come to the related tab, you can now see the second entry. So that's how it works. Hope this helps.